Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm in a really good mood today. Um, so, you guys, you will never give up on my story time videos. You always want more, so I'm gonna give them to you because I give the people what they want. All right, I'm gonna get my token disclaimer here. Um, usually I have to turn off the comments on my story time videos because people get vicious, they give me death threats, they cuss me out, so if you don't like this video, don't watch it. Okay. As you guys already know, I dye my hair a lot. I mean, I bleach my hair. I've done a lot of different things with my hair because I've never really found one way that I feel like I love it. I think it looks good like this, but it's not going to be like this permanently. I love changing my hair and it's just something that I do. And because of that, I really don't stay with one stylist too much, which I know is so risky. But there's really not that many stylists in my area that I've tried that I feel are, are this amazing, awesome person. So generally speaking, I go to somebody maybe two or three times and then I go to somebody else. Because when I start going to the same person every time, um, they will usually not do what I ask. It's really weird. They get comfortable with you and then they stop doing what you ask. I, I don't know what it is. I don't know if anybody else has experienced that. But anyways... Um, in my town, there's probably four or five salons, and I've tried f three or four of them. But let's just call this woman Samantha that did my hair. Samantha, I got an appointment with Samantha. So somebody had said, oh, this girl is good. Like, she'll, she won't do you wrong, girl. You're going to be fine. And so since I usually go in with the exact same thing every time, I generally speaking, this is what I do. I get my hair trimmed. I get... A full foil highlight so I like the underneath of my hair highlighted and the, the top part of my hair just so I can get a full over base color of blonde so this time I decided that's not what I'm gonna do I want to go brown so I was dead set on going brunette I go and I tell this girl okay I show her pictures of what I want and generally speaking it's just a, a darker brown. I don't want anything warm because I've told you guys before the undertones of my hair are very warm and it makes my hair turn brassy as all get out. So I show her these pictures and she says, yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. So you want a warm brown? And I was like, no, 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 no. I want like a, um, like a chocolate brown undertone. I don't want it that dark, but that's the kind of, you know what I'm talking about? Cool browns. Chocolate is a cool brown. So she goes, oh no, 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 I get it. So then she says, how about I do a highlight on top of your brown? And I thought, uh, I don't really want that. I kind of just wanted my whole base color to be one color because I don't want there to be strips, you know, like streaks in my hair just because I wanted it to just be blended. And she says, well, when you curl your hair, it'll be all blended as one. And I said, that's totally fine, but I don't curl my hair every day. Like, I don't have curly hair. It's easier for somebody with curly hair to get away with random highlights and balayage and things like that because... It's curled, so you can't see everything. When your hair is as stick straight as mine, it, you're going to see everything. But I went along with it, which is where I went wrong, okay, guys? Don't just go along with everything. Just tell people what you want. And part of that was my fault, but I kept telling her I don't know if I want that. I don't think I really want that. And by that time, the foils were in my hair. So, you know, whatever. So... She leaves me to sit and then she comes back. Um, she looks at my foils and she decided that I was done. So she wa she washes my hair all out. She sits me in the chair. And so at this point, I'm kind of freaking out. <laughs> because if you're somebody who's dyed their hair, you know when you get sat in the chair and after it's been washed out, you know what your hair is going to look like. You always wait to blow dry the whole thing to see the full color so you can know what I knew. So she starts blow drying it and I'm thinking, oh gosh, what did I do? Um, so long story short, we get it done. And my hair is red. My hair is red. And before anybody goes into anything, I think redheads are beautiful. And I love red hair. But when you go somewhere expecting for brown and you come out with red, you're very confused. So I was very confused at this point. And it was a ready, reddish brown. Like, I'm not going to say it was straight up flaming red because it wasn't. But it was, it was red. And so there, and then on top of that, there were just blonde streaks in my hair. Just blonde, like nothing natural, like straight up coming from the root, like little pieces of blonde streaks in my hair. And I thought, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? So this 
hair appointment was I think $130 or something like that and I was very upset because I don't I didn't want to waste the money the thing is is I wasn't gonna get in a fight and say I hate my hair but it got worse so I leave the salon I don't say anything because I was just doing the easiest thing I could think and just get out of the situation and then I was gonna talk to my mom and see what she thought I should do so we get home and I said, hey, maybe if I wash it, maybe if I tone it, if I see, because she had curled it and she had blow dried it and everything was finished. So I, I decided, okay, so I get home, I wash my hair. It got worse. My hair felt so incredibly dry. I'm talking stick, like stick straight, like my hair felt like, Barbie doll hair, you know that plastic hair that just it's it was bad and my hair was falling out and I At this point I just didn't even know so I toned it and this is where I made my mistake and everybody got pissed off at me for it But I used a purple shampoo and everybody said that's gonna strip your hair Well, first of all no purple shampoo should be stripping your hair purple shampoo is not to strip your hair It's to tone your hair Okay, so I just assumed this was going to tone my hair. Well, it didn't. It stripped my hair. And it made my hair completely orange, okay? And I have a photo of when my hair was essentially completely orange. I don't even know what happened. Um, I don't know how that happened, but essentially whatever dye I sh was used on my hair was not a good, uh, like, real professional dye. Because if it is, that should never happen. And I was just pissed off so I texted her and I said I don't know what just happened but my hair is basically red orange and I have an event to go to tomorrow I was flying out to New York the next day to go um, be a videographer for the um, fashion week so I was in time crunch I was like we got it <laughs> I am not showing up with orangish reddish hair with blonde streaks and I'm not doing it so I called her and she ended up putting a bunch more highlights in it and it resolved the situation and then I went to someone else and just got the whole thing done blonde a couple weeks later because when you get your hair done that fast it's really bad for your hair if within the next 24 48 hours if you're gonna bleach the whole thing it just kills your hair my hair already felt dead and dry at the end it just already felt terrible so at that point I was just trying to do anything I was putting hair masks on it I was like praying literally like on my knees like I was <laughs> I was doing anything at that point that would help me if you've ever had red in your hair you know red is the hardest to strip with black and with brown they're difficult to strip but you can eventually with enough rounds of bleach with red it just stays in there so that was difficult I took me a couple rounds of bleach to get it to this color so I mean I had to let my hair wait because it was so dry and I'm just, I'm not going to go back. I won't. I mean, I'm maybe someday I'll go back to brunette because I liked the brunette color that I had at first, um, but then it just, it didn't work. So that's my little salon story of when my hair turned orange. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and I will see you back here later.